These fellas are early tonight. It's only 7 o'clock. Come on, guys. Wait. Just a minute. This morning and this sinus is all blocked and I was fine the last two days I, I just can't seem to shake this damn thing so uh, I don't know what's going on there and uh, I want to go to the hospital I think I got sinus infection and I want to go to the hospital but they won't let you in there if you got runny nose and cough and all this stuff so how are you supposed to get it fixed yeah, so I got, uh, Angie got a bunch of stuff she bought for me there, so I'll, I'll use that for now, and I'll see if I can get in the walk-in clinic on Monday. So, you ready? Look at them little, little faces. Yeah, I heard from the, uh, the guy that sent the package, and, uh, he told me what was in the package, and there's no way that the uh, customs should have, um, charged that much, you know, for duty. That was outrageous what they done there. That wasn't just this guy's fault. And uh, I know I'm having trouble with DHL. We don't even have DHL up here, but they keep sending me emails from my my clothing site, North Carolina, and they say I owe this amount of money and all this stuff. And I, but we pay our duty up front. And we never have any issues with that. Only when DHL somehow gets a hold of it. But they, uh, I just ignore them. And then they would uh, send me warning letters. And I think it's a scam, the, the DHL thing. So I don't, I don't answer them. And, uh, and then all of a sudden UPS will pull on the air and deliver. Uh, it wasn't even them at all. There you go. You got it? That's a whole one there. Don't take the little bitty one bite. Take the whole one. There you go. I was waiting for two pairs of pants, uh, joggers like these, for, um, it's right in front of you. Since June, uh, out of my, uh, North Carolina place, and we never got them, so I went and uh, see my, um, website guys, and apparently they delivered it to the wrong address, and whoever was there refused it, so they sent it back. So they're going to try to fix that. Because those girls been waiting for those jogging pants since last June. Yeah. This is the first time I had any trouble. But I don't need any more statues or pictures and stuff like that because <clears throat> I got no room for it and I have a wife now and I, I mean she has to have stuff up from her family and right now this place is like a museum. Every wall, every room, it's got raccoon stuff all over it, the whole house. Yeah. You can't even see the walls. <laughs> uh, 
And all this stuff that's out here now, this is all donated. I delivered uh, food to yesterday. She made that Jim's Diner sign with the little, she makes signs on the side and she does uh, upholstery. Uh, Furby, what? You got it? Okay. So anyway, I'm, my nose is just running like water. It's running down. It's uh, sometimes by leaning over the sink, it just pours out of me. So that's a sign of infection. So. Anyway, I'll try. I'm gonna try the hospital again tomorrow. Me better get on my hands and knees. <laughs> And everybody says it's great up here. We got we got free medical. Well, no wonder it's free. You can't you didn't get anything done. <laughs> I mean, I've been waiting for years and years to uh, like my medical thing here. That's that's going on two years now. Uh, there you go. Uh, and I have another issue there that has to be addressed, and it's I've been fighting that since 2015, so seven years. But I hate when the, when you go into the doctor and he said, uh, "Oh, we can only address one thing." I said, "Well, I ain't leaving. <laughs> but you address all things. That's what you have. To, that's what I had to do." I said, if you don't address it, my next stop's the funeral home. So, uh, anyway, he took me serious and he finally did something. But it's the Darren Hospital's holding up the uh, CT scan. I'm going to see if I can get one in Toro or Annie Ganesh. I'll even go to Halifax. I don't care. As long as I get it done. I, sh I was two, four hours on the road yesterday to get this shot. Boy, I'll tell you. My arm is sore and stiff from that needle yesterday. I never, like I had three before that, never had this reaction. And it's like kind of swollen, eh? But I can't use it. Yeah. Can't lift it, you can't lift it up over my head. Where's all the rest of them? Huh? Of course, it's only early yet. It's only early. We have Halloween night coming up. Yeah, Angie be here for that. Yeah, but we'll have to watch the cats, won't we? Huh? Here, Foxy. Here you go. I got one underneath me here. What do you want? <laughs> boy, oh boy, all that stuff I put out last night. They just devoured it. And they're tearing the wood off the uh, those platforms. So I'm, I'm going to take that one down. If I can get at it. Yeah, I'm going to take that one down and uh, then I can fix the screen and put it back in the window and the... What do you want? That's the window I use for that one or the bedroom for the deer. <laughs> See what he did? Can you do that? Huh? Can you take it out of my hand? No? Come on. Come on, I'm not going to hurt you. Your brother does it. There you go. Look, oh, see, that wasn't hurt. 
And you, no trouble with you at all. And uh, Susan, Jake, and I got your message, and I'll give you a shout after we do the video. So I wasn't out today, I stayed laid down all day, but I had a I had to slip into Zobies right quick to get these because I was I didn't have enough. So but I dressed warm and I put a mask on and I made sure I uh, covered up my hands when I went in the store. Ready? I didn't want anybody else. No, it's not COVID. I tested myself today, and I was, I'm not, I don't have COVID. This is just a, a sinus infection. I've had them before. I had a real bad one there one time. And uh, what do you want? You're going to steal out of my bucket, aren't you? Huh? You want to take it out of the bucket? Well. How many are you going to take? Oh, you took one? Okay. He's got a nice light color to him. Yeah. You're right. Oh, you're going to have a, a drink, are you? Okay. Yeah. You can have a drink. They got beautiful black eyes. Yeah. Ready for another one? Here. Here. Do you want it? Or are you going to take that one? Well, eat that one then. There you go. See? Oh, there's a guy there that uh, um, Angie pointed him out to me today, and he's got uh, a video out. And what he did, he's 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 got my whole video, the the one that went mopped, and he's narrating it. And he's got the he calls me Grampy Jamie, and he's got the whole story wrong. He said my wife was walking down a mountain road and found a, a raccoon injured and took it home and went to the hospital with it and that's all bull. She never found any, she never walked down any mountain road that I know of. And uh, the first raccoon we ever had was, uh, it came here on its own. We only had the one. And then Rascal came along after Rastus died so but anyway, I sent him a message to tell him he has to uh, take that video down because it's copyright infringement. And because uh, that's what I was told by YouTube to do. And I give him 24 hours. And then if he doesn't, I go into YouTube and then they'll, they'll take his whole site on him. He's got 16,000K of, of uh, subscribers. And if he doesn't want to lose that, he better he better take it off because they'll take they'll take the whole site away. They don't uh, fool around with stuff like that because it says right on my uh, every video I have up it'll say that the, these videos are protected, you know, not to be used in any other way or so. Even Stephen Colbert reached out to me about using the video, and I said they could do it, so. Yeah. What? There you are. Uh, these fellas are awful quiet here. Only got three now. And the groom and 
skeletons are still hanging there. Yeah. Now we we had a good weekend of sun. Start tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's going to be rain again. So we'll have to move the the bench under the, over there, which is good because we don't have the swing there now. Boy, you ever putting them away, bud? Yeah. There's still a lot of people uh, worried about these fellows all being overweight, but uh, they'll they'll survive the winter because they they got enough fat on them to survive four months without food. So that's what they live on. They live on their fat. But the raccoons down in the states, the lower states, they don't have to worry about that. But the northern states, they do. They, they go into a, a semi-hibernation. Are you ready? You coming over? You've got all kinds of little pieces there. Haven't you? Huh? You're going over there, are you? What are you doing? Well, let me know when you want one. Here. Here. Here, I'll put this down here. So you want to get one? Did you get it? You going to get two? Oh, you did. <laughs> He's, I took two, Daddy. Yeah. I got two of them. He's got a hot dog, you never even finished down there. I'll throw another one down to him. I'll throw a couple more out here and then uh, I'll wait for the rest to come. We'll do another video. It's so early yet. So. And we'll put this one up now. <clears throat> I'll shut the big light off. You have more hot dogs than you know what to do with. <laughs> He's got three or four going there. There's lots of dry food. Anyway, we'll leave them with that. Uh, I'll take the rest in and put them out after. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got bacon going here for Connor and I. I put it on low so it wouldn't burn. There we go. I'm just going to have some bacon. Uh, it's maple bacon. You smell it. Yeah, I'm just going to get over there, you. And then uh, I'll have to share. I'll have to share with them. There. That's all I'm going to have is that and a couple slices of toast. I got no appetite. All right, I'll turn that up to three. Here we go. Yeah, where's everybody at? Well, there's Charlotte. It's a little girl. Yeah. And he's on his pumpkin. Are you on the great pumpkin, Connor? You gotta stop waking me up in the morning, bud. Connor, you gotta stop waking me up in the morning. Yes. <laughs> All right, people. We shall see you maybe later, and uh, if not, see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye bye.